You've seen the glory of the glens and lochs of Scotland, but have you discovered the beauty of the country's islands? Well, you have a lot to choose from. 790 to be exact. Each one boasts a unique character and a variety of gems to explore. And with one of the most compelling seascapes in the world, if you're looking to experience the best of our islands, then island hopping is for you. Ferries are a great option because most let you take your transport with you, meaning you can fully explore your destination at your own pace. Once you've reached island number one, hopping between that and its neighbour is nothing but a ferry ride or bridge away. Top tip, if you're using ferries, leave plenty travel time as journeys can be weather dependent. Let's explore some of the best island groups for hopping. The Inner Hebrides. Escape to the west coast of Scotland and get swept up by the untouched beauty of Jura. If you're after history, venture to the peaceful ancient abbey on the Isle of Iona, or let your inner adventurer try windsurfing on the Isle of Tyree. Word to the wise, be prepared to embrace the windswept and interesting look. And if you're a wildlife enthusiast, keep your eyes peeled for sea eagles soaring above you on the Isle of Mull, or basking sharks off the Isle of Col. Don't worry, they're the type that don't eat you. Even if you've never been there, you're probably already familiar with the Isle of Skye, one of the most photographed and talked about of the Scottish islands. You'll have seen its stunning landscapes on the big screen, but it's even better seeing it for real. Why not head to the colourful town of Tobermory to enjoy fresh seafood in one of the local pubs? Or if you like to sample a dram or two, head to the Isle of Isla, where there are eight distilleries to get familiar with. Venture to the northwest corners of Scotland to the Outer Hebrides for spectacular scenery, pristine beaches, hand-woven Harris Tweed souvenirs and a rich Gaelic culture. Try out kayaking among the crystal clear waters off the coast of Barra or delve into the past as you walk along the ancient Callanish standing stones. The opportunities are endless. These remote corners of Scotland are great for hearing the native Gaelic language being spoken or sung, as well as hearing traditional folk musicians playing in local pubs. You can soak up a real taste of island life. Did you know the abandoned Isle of St Kilda is a UNESCO World Heritage Site? The stunning sea cliffs are the highest in Britain. Head north and hop from Orkney and Shetland to tick these magical places off your bucket list. Here you can see remnants of ancient civilizations and grab the chance to spot the northern lights. You can hear the songs of thousands of seabirds and lively folk music sessions and ferocious Viking culture. Orkney is made up of around 70 islands lying north of the mainland and is famed for its wildlife, beaches and rich history. Head to Kirkwall to visit its Viking cathedral, fishing port and distillery, as well as Stromness, known for its arts and crafts. Shetland's unique cultural heritage is one you must explore. Uncover the Old Norse language that pops up everywhere from place names to the local dialect. Visit Iron Age brochs, archaeological sites and ruins and marvel at the glorious landscapes everywhere you turn. Of course, if you're a seafaring regular, you are more than welcome to bring your own boat. However, it's not compulsory and we do provide some on arrival. You can also get to our islands by plane, ferry, bridge or seaplane, making the journey almost as memorable as your adventure. And you don't need to spend weeks discovering these beauties, although you're more than welcome to. Exploring even just a few islands over a weekend will convince you to come back for more. Choose a couple of spots to start off with and get planning. Plan your island hopping experience at visitscotland.com.